Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is talking about and putting things together with regard to rational numbers and comparing and ordering them in real world, uh, world situations. So here we have a vacuum cleaner. And either it's going to um, have a uh, positive uh, pressure or a negative uh, amount of pressure in it, whether it's going to you know, suck up the dirt or blow it out or work and not work uh, or whatever. So uh, here we have pressure and we have vacuum. Now, if something is vacuuming, that's a negative situation because we have negative air pressure. That's what makes the dirt go into the vacuum cleaner. So that would be a negative pressure uh, of 13 pounds per square inch. If you have pressure here, that means that's a positive deal. That vacuum cleaner won't be working. So if we're vacuuming, we have a negative. Here's another one and another one. And if we have uh, pressure, that's a positive amount of pressure. And either I can put that positive symbol or not. Doesn't matter, but that vacuum cleaner won't be sucking up any dirt. Okay? And now what I need to do is to put these guys in order uh, from least to greatest. There they are, least to greatest. So on my number line, I want to start with everything that's totally to the left or as far to the left as I can and might work my way to the right. So it looks to me like my negative 13 is my furthest to the left. And then comes my negative 7.8. All right, on my number line, then as I travel to the right, I'll probably hit that negative 6.3. So I'm done with that one. And any other negative values out there? Yes, my negative 1.9. Okay, and then now I'm on the positive side or the right side of zero. So here comes my 2 and my 7.8. And then finally, my 25. Okay, so... That's the deal, folks. That's what we're doing today, talking about positive and negative values and then putting them in order where they fall on that number line, least to greatest or greatest to least. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.